These are my cards for February 22nd. For the energy of the day, I got the Fool. For what to focus on, I got the Ace of Wands reversed. For what to avoid, I got the Seven of Cups reversed. And for what's underneath, I got the Queen of Cups. Right? Queen of Cups? Nope, Queen of Wands. Sorry, Queen of Wands. So this is already making sense to me. So um, my guy today is going to come by and pick me up, and we're going to go for a drive. We don't really know where we're going to go. Um, he doesn't, he's told me three or four different places where he might want to go. He just wants to drive up the coast. Um, so with being the fool, it's taking risks, uh, take a risk, take a break, um, wide open options. Uh, don't be afraid, uh, to go off into the wilderness. Now, obviously this is the horror deck, so she is afraid, but, um, so with the focus on with the Ace of Wands reversed, I'm going to take this as I am not going to have a lot of time to get some writing done. I was actually able to get a lot of writing done yesterday, um, got through a whole 10 pages, a whole chapter, um, and today is a guy day, my guy day. So it's just, I get to just spend time with him, and that's just what the day is about. Um, I might be able to think about some of my writing stuff, but don't focus on anything new. No new flames. And with the avoid, with the Seven of Cups, this goes right back to the Fool. Um, Seven of Cups is usually about options. This is avoid blocking options. Avoid blocking different options. Um, and the Fool is always about keeping your options open and taking a risk. So I'm going to just, I might be taking some risks today. Now, with the Queen of Wands being what's underneath, I think there's a part of me that wants to write and stay home and write, but I really do want to go on this trip with uh, my guy. So, um, there might be some kind of a flame underneath that maybe will inspire um, one of my Ace of Wands that are reversed or my writing, but there's probably something in there that I'm like kind of finally starting to get into a groove now that I've kind of figured out what this chronic procrastination thing is. Um, and probably some ways how to fix it, but um, this day is not about that. This day is about me spending time with my guy.